And I would like to introduce to you a woman who is beyond words, yet she uses them like no other. She's not only a spoken word performance artist, but a political activist. And above all, she would be my choice of inaugural poets when Obama is reelected in 2012. The one and only forever and ever, Stacey Ann Chin. Jamaica, a dozen boys dragged me into a bathroom and sexually assaulted me. After that, I left Jamaica and came to America in search of a world in which I could be out and safe. A world where my inclination to partner with a woman does not leave me open to violence and isolation and discrimination. Imagine my surprise. Imagine how hurt I was when I discovered that there were places right here, right here in my new country, America, that did not look different from the places I fled in Jamaica. Imagine how powerless I felt when I found out that even in the places where we could be loud and dance and dress in drag and gather as LGBT people, I still did not have all my rights. Imagine how I envied the 1,200 rights that heterosexual unions still enjoy exclusively. Rights to which I have no access in this, my new country, America. I march today in anticipation of the day when those rights will be mine. I march today because in the tradition of those who have spoken right here on this lawn before me, I dream and hope and believe that such a day is possible. I march today because I believe, I believe that change is not only possible, it is inevitable. I march today because equality has to be more than a word. In a country made up of more than one kind of people, it has to be the right of every person breathing. It has to be a given for every household, every arm, every elbow, hand to hand. Those of us with the power to speak must speak, must march to recreate the arc of our own history. The future must become a door we all can walk through. So we have to be willing to fight for more than what makes us comfortable because what makes us human is the acknowledgement of a universal humanity. Gay, black, lesbian, Latino, transgender, white, Irish, Chinese, American, Jamaican, bisexual, bicultural, bipartisan, tri-state, red state, blue state, every right for every resident, every right for every resident, every protection for every union, homosexual, heterosexual, evangelical, equality, has to be more than a word we apply theoretically. It has to become practice, a way of living, a way of changing the world. Equality has been the catchword of every successful revolution. Every resolution led by the people in history, be it civil rights or Stonewall, the halls of freedom beckon to all who choose to hear, all who choose to bear witness to a reckoning. Things change. Things always change. Progress, it is the way of humanity, the way of growth, the way of growth. And when it ends, when the iron hand of this era eventually ends, I want to be standing on the right side of progress, the side of truth, the side of compassion. 
inclusion and equality. I want to say, yes, I was there. I was present among the dissenting, standing in the unrelenting turn of a time when every family united by love became covered under the law. From the Golden Gate to the Statue of Liberty. From Florida to Niagara. Equality is more than just a word we lend to politicians to garner votes. It has to be more than rote. It has to become breath and repetition. It has to be a right. It has to be the light we all can run to. It has to be what we say, what we believe, what we chant, what we want is equality, is equality. Say it with me. What we say, what we believe, what we chant, what we want is equality, is equality, is equality, is equality.